number 10. It's common sense. C -c 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 common sense. It's common sense. Common sense. I don't mean to complain, but there's this guy, Thomas Paine. Now, I've been reading through his pamphlet, and it kind of hurts my brain. The British rule of our colonies can be a bit oppressive, but this call for full rebellion, well, it seems a bit excessive. So I asked my good friend Tommy to explain his common sense and see if he can help us find our way up off the fence. Thank you, Farmer Ted. Let me tend to your concerns. Let's first start with a question and see what we can learn. Would you agree a child who has grown and left their home needs some self-sufficiency, a place to call their own? Will America's a child that has finally come to age? And the way our British parents treat us fills me up with rage. They are murdering our families. They are knocking down our doors. They are taxing us to death. And I say we say no more. It's time we stood for freedom and we came to its defense. What we need self-government and why? It's common sense. Now Tommy, listen up, and just know I mean no harm. But you're asking me to risk my life and cozy family farm. I could do without the taxes and all the British laws, but if we try to fight and lose, it could be worse by far. I know that war and revolution's a tricky, scary path, but unless we dare to take up arms, this tyranny will last. I see no room for compromise or reconciliation. The choice is mean, harsh British rule or form a brand new nation. To reject the British crown, well, it's no longer treason. And time will surely make more converts than any of my reason. Cause there's no longer middle ground when facing such offense. America must unite and fight, and why? It's common sense. It's common sense. C-c-c-c-common sense.